All right, I just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to get more frames in Arma 3, um, mostly Olympus, because that's what most of us play on. The first thing you're going to need to do is, this is for NVIDIA people. If you have AMD and all that, I don't know anything about all that. Uh, but for uh, NVIDIA, click this little down arrow here at the bottom. Right click on your NVIDIA, open up control panel. That'll bring this up here. And from here, under 3D settings, adjust image settings with preview. I'm going to go down here to use my performance emphasizing. Move this bar all the way to the left for performance. Hit apply. <clears throat> You'll come down here to 3D, um, manage 3D settings. Under global. You'll scroll down about halfway to power management mode. You'll change this to prefer maximum performance. Once you're done with that, you'll come down here to texture filtering quality. You'll change this to high performance. And then you can close this out. You're done with that. And then you want to open up a file folder and go to documents. Just be here. For documents, you'll go to, you'll probably have a secondary one, so you'll go to other profile, Armor 3, other profiles. And this is my main here. And then you'll come down here to Armor 3 profile. Make sure it's only this one. Open this up. You can open it in anything, doesn't really matter. Changing two things on here. You scroll all the way to the bottom. Then you're going to find FOV top and FOV left. You want FOV top to be 1.03 and FOV left 1.83. Once you're done with that, you just file save, close it. Now you're done. So now you open up your Armor 3 launcher and then go to parameters. Make sure you go to all parameters and you want it to look just like this platform default 64 bit the static background and menu you want that checked skip logs on or skip logos on restart check that come down here to advanced uh, cpu count is how many cores you have if you don't know how many cores you have right click on your um address bar menu bar whatever this is and you got a task manager when you open up Task Manager, click on CPU. And then right here is where your cores are. You have six cores. So you want to put six here, or whatever your maximum is, eight, 12, whatever you have. Uh, click on Extra Threads. Make sure all three of these are checked. Enable Hyper, enable hyper Threading. You want to make sure that's checked. Then if you want, you do no pause, which it, when you tab out a game, your game keeps going. That's all that does. It's kind of annoying. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't like it, so I have it off. Once that's done, hit play. Once your game's open, you can go up here to options. Go to video. I'll leave this pause for a minute so you can just copy. I'm also going to go through it. Uh, we're going to go from top to bottom, left to right. So sampling, you want 100. Texture, you want very high. Objects, very high. Terrain, high. Shadows, disabled. Particles, low. Cloud, low. EIP, disabled. Your visibility, you want overall 2,000. Objects, 1,200. Shadow, 50. EIP, 1,200. Your lighting, you want HDR standard. Dynamic lighting, you want very high. And the water reflections, you want disabled. I'll leave that up here just for another second so you guys can either pause the video or just go along with me. Over on display, you want full screen windowed. Uh, mine's on custom. If yours doesn't go custom, it's fine. Just leave it on whatever it is. V-Sync off, interface small. When your brightness, 1.3. Your gamma, you shouldn't be able to move this. But if you can, we want it at 1.0. I'll leave this up again for you can pause the video or 
Follow along. Next, go to AAPP. And then under post processing, you want your bloom, your blur, your rotation blur, and your field of depth. You want all those at zero. Move them all the way down. Chartmist filtering, you want at 140. The AO, you want HBAO plus medium. Then enable this. And under uh, post process color corrections, you want your brightness at 100, your contrast at 100, and your saturation at 200. And under analyzing, you want your FSAA disabled. This shouldn't be able to move, but if you can, put it on disabled. Your PPAA, you want SMAA standard. And then your filtering, you want it on standard. And I'll leave this up so you can screenshot it or whatever.